I want to ask Youssef a question. Is Hamas a terrorist organization? Do I get to actually speak now? You get to point? answer the question. It's a simple yes or no question. Is sir, Hamas? I, you invited me on here. Is sir, Hamas? You invited me on is here Hamas, as a I'm guest. I'm asking you a question. Is Hamas, whose charter calls for the destruction of Israel, is that a terrorist organization? That's a yes or no thank, question. Thank you for your question. And now, now answer. I will provide an answer. Finally. It's very telling to me that, and it should be telling to your viewers as well. By the way, that the moment you have a Palestinian voice on your program. Who begins to explain the legitimate grievances of Palestinians on the ground? Not just organization. Answer, answer, let me sir, answer let the me question. Finish. Am I a guest on your program? Or yeah, I you're a guest, or, or but you don't get the filibuster. Stand answer, here. Is Hamas a terrorist organization? The United States certainly considers Hamas a terrorist organization. Do you consider? I didn't know ask that. what the United States think. I asked what I, you think. Okay. Can you hear? Look, if you if if you think if you think that uh, we are going to have any progress in this situation by simply yelling at me is uh, that's not, that's you, not really right, going to be helpful. Let me ask you helpful. nicely. So, no, let me a ask you, sir, a question. ...wrongly criticized and condemned the hit and has actually accused Israel of violating international law. This is Chris Gunnis, who we heard from. He is a spokesman for the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East, and he spoke to our diplomatic editor, James Bates. Have a look. Shock, indignation, words simply can't express how appalling we all felt. That's why we've condemned this in the strongest possible terms as a serious violation of international law. We've moved away from the realm of humanitarian action alone. We're now in the realm of accountability. Are you sure which side was responsible? We have done crater analysis. We got a team to the site within hours. We've looked at the shrapnel. We've looked at the damage. We are, according to our assessment, saying that this is Israeli artillery and we have no doubt about that. Is it possible this could have been an accident they didn't know where the school was? Well as far as intentionality is concerned of course you'd need to ask the Israeli army. We have seen a school hit directly. Children sleeping next to their parents on the floor of a UN designated safe area have been killed. It is an affront to the humanity of all of us. The world should hang its head in shame. Did you tell them about the location of this school and how many people were inside? Seventeen times we called to give them the precise coordinates of this school and to inform them of the fact that 3,300 people had taken refuge there. So that is certainly not an excuse that can be given. This is the second time this has happened with a large loss of life. How should the international community respond? Well, we've made it quite clear that it's time for accountability. We've made it quite clear that those with the power to act should take deliberate political action. It's up to them, but it's got to stop. I mean, we have reached breaking point. We've moved away from the realm of humanitarian action alone. Our staff are being killed. Our shelters are completely overrun. The Israelis are telling more people to leave, so there will soon be tens of thousands of people stranded in the streets of Gaza. No food, no shelter, no mattresses, no blankets. We are overwhelmed by this. There has to be concerted political action. You are a senior UN official. You were, uh, before that, a long time, you were, you were a journalist, a professional journalist. So you're used to seeing these sort of things. But how does it affect you? when you see what has happened on the ground in Gaza today? It's beyond belief that in the 21st century, children and women, men, civilian men, can be subjected to this kind of outrage. The Palestinians have every single one of their rights denied them, including the right to life, and that includes children. It is an abomination, it's a barbarity, and it needs to end. Is Hamas point. a terrorist organization? Yes, Let me no. ask you a question. No, sir, you don't answer a question with a question. Is Hamas, what part of this can't you get through your thick head? I think Is I, Hamas a terrorist excuse organization? Me? Yes excuse me? or no? I already answered yes your question. Or no. I already answered your question. You did not. Well, this is the problem, Yusuf, is that we can... Not you can. Why is he asking you for the terrorist organization? Because terrorist organizations use children as shields, launch rockets into civilian populations, start a war that victimizes the poor children that are being killed in this war. And just like when America had to go into Afghanistan, had to go into Iraq, we saw pictures from CARE and other organizations saying America is killing innocents when in fact we were fighting a legitimate war that had unfortunate deaths that happened. And this is about if you want to do stop I, the deaths do of I get children. To say you, you, rockets. you had your chance. You didn't say Hamas say is a terrorist sir? organization. Sir, Goodbye. Uh, it, Coming up it, next. I want to ask you a 